giving thought for best outcome. Using my body members honorably for the Lord Jesus means to me my total body, mind, and spirit, my soul, needs to be totally used in honor of the Lord Jesus. In whatever role I am called upon to serve, I recognize my total soul is to be involved. I benefit and find comfort in knowing my efforts serve best when my purpose is all about the Lord. Fully committed to establishing and maintaining an active relationship with the Lord Jesus keeps me on the right path. To have an active relationship with the Lord Jesus is, for me, the only way to intervene for another's good. I am able to obtain excellence in dealing honorably in my relationships and contact with others as I honor my Lord in action. In any position of serving our fellow man in some way, focusing on our service being to the Lord Jesus, our fellow man is respected. If there is a service being to the Lord Jesus, our fellow man is respected. If there is a God-focused goal, it gives an advantage by desire to apply the required principles of the task and the Lord God's laws in honor of the Lord Jesus. Keeping the Lord and his principles in action, there is less room for distractions to cause a wrong decision. A person's driving purpose for good will require of them continual self-monitoring of their thoughts and actions, as well as consideration of the influence other persons have on their ongoing work in the will and love of the Lord. Having a sure, defined display of integrity in word and in action demonstrates a clear and purposed value of life. The purpose of a person must be determined before they place themselves in close interactive contact with other people, especially when working closely around those in need. Proverbs 20.18 Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice make war. Psalm 16.8 I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Psalm 18.22 For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statues from me. Psalm 39.1 I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. Avoiding oops and no-nos. Being human creatures, we come with regular physical, mental, spiritual, and therefore social deficiencies. We who are called upon and will be giving care to those with special needs will do well to consider the impact different characteristics can bring to the very center of the care intervention surroundings. Considering in God's word that there are supporting guidelines for positive personal interactions with other people, we will remain faithful to studying God's word, to know with God's word we are able with purpose to prevent those things and conditions which distract us from our individual responsibilities and our God-given purpose. We are called upon to function well in a few roles. Each role we are engaged in, we make progress and benefit as we give full attention to God's word. The Lord Jesus has 
given us purpose for us to know and in love intervene with his principles that are found in his word. Luke 4, 4. And Jesus answered him saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. 2 Peter 1, 10. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. The Lord Jesus has given us a calling to put his identity hat over our identity hat. The Lord's authority hat. The Lord's authority hat is that which covers all hats. We have been called into the fellowship of our Lord Christ Jesus. The Lord Jesus has given us the sure way to avoid oops and no-nos. All the counsels of the Lord God are those which point us, point us to the life-giving bread from heaven. The word testifies of Jesus. In God's word, we have positive life-giving guidance. Proverbs 3, 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Psalm 119, 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. I will delight myself in thy statues. I will not forget thy word. Psalm 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Proverbs 6, 23. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life.